the left foot that he was resting. He's missed eight games with that left foot issue. And now Jock Vaughn has come out to talk with Josh Tibb and the crew chief about that last foul and whether Embiid was indeed in the shooting motion. It didn't look like it. And he just got a technical. So a foul was called on this. And it was called a shooting foul. That angered Normally mild-mannered Brooklyn coach Jock Vaughn. And when you cross the mid-court line, it's an automatic technical. Josh Tiven came over, the crew chief, to tell us that. That's why he teed up Jock. And so it'll be a free throw for Harden and then two for MB because of the shooting foul. That was one he wanted unequivocally. And I, did, I agree with you. I did not think he was even close to the gather motion. Cool. Blocked. And that blocked DiVincenzo. He got it. And the foul on the pass out, J.B. Bickerstaff is not happy at all. When I say DiVincenzo has a nose for the ball, he just reacted to it the quickest. It looked like no one else really knew. He just knew exactly where it was going. The air ball goes to the offense, but block shots, and it just goes to the... Anthony Lamb missing the three. Jermichael Green tracks it down. How about the Warriors with 12 offensive rebounds? That's a moving screen. That'll be a turnover. Anthony Lamb trying to figure out why, but just did a little extra. We can get a good angle on this. This is perfect here. You can see he tried to change the angle of the screen last minute, and he just wasn't stationary enough. I was very close. It was. Those, you're kind of splitting hairs with those. But now another team. Oh. So now J.B. Bickerstaff will pick one up. So Neto got a tee. J.B. Bickerstaff never really slowed down. You've got to play hard, too. Embiid playing hard again. Hard foul. And they're going to say that's on. Wow. It's on Embiid. Doc is absolutely incredulous up off the bench. Can't believe that call. He's like, wait a second. Just please explain it to me. How did that guy go down? Wow, that left. Is that what she's calling? Yeah, that yeah left? The, el the elbow to Pirtle's chin. Hmm. Yeah, Ashley. He's just swinging it. Like, he's not really doing anything. Oh, my goodness. All right. Times they are changing. So, two personal on MB for the Sixers. Fourth turnover for the Sixers. And a quick foul on George Niang, who's just checked in. Got to continue to move your feet. That's how the defense is going to be played. You're not going to play great defense with your hands. It's your feet that get you plays. Doc. And a technical foul whistle on Sixers coach Doc Rivers. Not happy about that previous call on Joel Embiid and still wanting the crew to hear about it. And official Curtis Blair's ear. <laughs> Claps at the missed free throw. And the, missing the technical free throw. What a sarcastic clap. <laughs> right there. That is subtle right there. That is not much of anything. Did Purtle Let's get make that happen. <laughs> Stanley Johnson downhill on Baisley. Nice block by Baisley. Loose ball, though, ends up in Langford's hands. And that three is offline. You mentioned Kenrich Williams into the ball game. And Stanley Johnson crosses the lane and scores. A little bit of a busted play for the Thunder as he created a fast break opportunity. Looks like that's going to be a technical foul called on Greg Popovich, and he just got thrown out of the game with two quick technicals. My goodness. That was fast. The NBA's all-time leader in wins is headed to the showers. Seemingly thought there was a foul on the other end. So. It's offensive rating for a good while now. Well, Buck's impressive tonight. Minus Drew Holiday who's out with an illness, and now Mike Budenholzer gets a technical. 
Boy. By Ray Acosta. <laughs> Ray Acosta. That's is... at least Ray's third call technical referee. I'm willing to bet that Joey Crawford holds Ooh. it. Yeah, that's true. But, you know what? But, that's a safe bet right there. Yes, oh. I think it is. <laughs> um, but what about Steve Javi? He's probably got a clean yeah, goal. He yeah, might be up Steve there, too. be up there for this game to go. I think this is number four for Acosta. Could be. Budenholzer can't believe it. Ray came over before the game, gave Stan a verbal technical foul. <laughs> he did. As well, because you mispronounced his name. Jokic one-on-one -on -one against Lopez. Two big guys. Bang it. Jokic in the lane, up and under. Missed that one. And yep, Malone's going to get a technical foul. Well, a technical so, foul on Michael Malone. He's been up three times at the basket. And it looks like he's getting the heck of him pounded out of him and no calls. Got hit in the face on a play before, got pushed out on the shot before, and made both of those. Here's the last one. Reach, reach. Yeah, he's in it. I mean, that could be a foul reaching in like that. Melinda, well, the arm around. You see an arm around the waist. You know that they're right. That should have been a foul. You know, Malone he's, hot. Yeah, that's what he's saying. It's the arm around that waist. We didn't see it on that first look. That second look, you can see it. Trey whips the pass to Griffin. John Collins has got it back. Trey from the corner. High archer. And we've got a whistle That's and right. a foul coming on Trey Young. Yep, for kicking. And a technical foul on Nate McMillan. Well, let's take a look at this. Three. And they say he stuck his leg out. I don't know about that, Nick. Did you see that? I personally would challenge it. Trey didn't really do much there from where we were sitting. What an edge. Here's Luca. Buff, down he goes. No whistle. Nate denied the ball. It's five on four right now for Minnesota. Although Knight's trailing the play, it's really four on four as Edwards and Bullock collide in a foul. Technical foul. Uh, oh. They just threw out Luca. Rodney Mott has teed up Luca before, and he just threw him out of the game. I think Jay, Jay might, might, might join him. Well, Jay's going to protect his, his star player. You have to. So Jason Kidd, for just the second time as coach of the Mavericks, Tonight, his 113th game as coach has been thrown out. Tony Brothers threw him out late last year in a game. With... This is the no call involving Luca. Seventy-six lead. Got to be careful. Make sure you keep going to the basket, just like that. Garland dances to the hole. Vucevic commits the personal. Garland will shoot two, looking to add to this Cavalier lead. And you, you see Darius get right into his eyesight. That was just brilliant. He stepped up just for a second so he could see, then went back there. Good job. And Billy Donovan just picked up a technical on a night when points are at a premium. So Donovan Mitchell will shoot the free throw. Good defender. He's out for probably six more weeks. Dennis Smith Jr. too, their backup point guard. Good defender. Suggs, or Chuma rather, took a hard screen, hit the deck. Going to be a technical foul on Jamal Mosley. He is really upset. KK. Jarring screen. Richards setting it. Jamal thought he was moving. Yep. Yeah, I think he was. And a reach in foul. I don't think that's going to be free throws for Young, even though he's heading to the line. Yeah, no, he used Nick Richards, who was sprinting back to protect the rim as a shield. One official said side out of bounds, but the crew chief, Tyler Ford, says free throws. 
And when they originally said side out of bounds, Trey Young said, no, 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 talk to the other guy. And Steve wow. Clifford now says, well, hold on. And a technical foul. And that was all kind of instigated by Trey Young. Stirring the puck. We, we've seen this play called so many different ways. Well below his waist. No way, no way he's getting that shot, no way. No, I don't agree but he that. also knows if he puts the ball down there with six arms defending him, he's gonna get fouled. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. almost guaranteed he's gonna get fouled. Long bounce on that miss by Jordan Poole. A little bit of miscommunication between Shea and Josh Giddy. Yeah, those second chance shots, particularly from three, the Warriors just have not missed all night. Just the pass, Hayden, down inside. Draymond Green and a timeout for Mark Dagnon in Oklahoma City and the Thunder really upset that Jalen Williams was not granted his entrance into the game and you, you can see Mark Dagnon he is letting Courtney Kirkland hear about it timeout on the floor Thunder now got to play catch up so upset so this is the dead ball and they're trying to substitute Jalen Williams, get him into the game. He's standing at midcourt. You see Mark Dagnall at midcourt. Yeah, He's having a word with Carl Lane. The substitution was not granted. And, so, and, and this is what happens. The Warriors get a point out of it. And just, and he should be upset. He should be upset about that because he was trying to get one of his players in the ball game, JW, for that purpose. And he ends up Curry got another one. Hits the deck. Curry with his second three. Starting to come alive here, and he is really upset. Middleton, who missed badly. Ping pongs around. There's Bobby Portis with a loose ball. And he puts it in. And just hanging around the basket. Oh. Bobby Portis and Stephen Curry upset. And Steve Kerr might join him. That's the second technical that Ray Acosta has pinned on the Warriors. He got Poole, and now he gets Curry. And now Ben Taylor's going to ring up Steve Kerr. Steve was on the verge of getting tossed there and still may. He's trying to earn an ejection here. He thought he was fouled on that three-pointer, so as soon as things... Cleared here. I think he's st still barking about what he saw on the other end. This play right here, where he thought he was clipped on by, made the shot, was open for a four point play. Dribble shot clock down to six. Wow. Just out of control, gets bailed out on the baseline. <laughs> wow. Darren Fox talking to. The officials right now just curious about you know where they're at right now what but, game they're present yeah. for <laughs> but man Lee, he, he is a physical guard yeah oh gosh you know undersized if you want to call it that look at mike brown mike, oh yeah mike brown oh mike Whoa. brown yeah he is fired up he, he's been ejected and mike brown has seen enough the uh, whistle's not going his way And you see Mike Brown get upset, but not to this level. Usually he's a mild-mannered guy. Here's Scotty denied by Ja. Get it back. Siakam and Dylan Brooks and Pascal Siakam pushes Brooks away. And now they're going to call a technical. And then there's a bump. And then that's after yeah. Dylan Brooks, like, yeah. And that technical foul also on Nick Nurse. And Nick having a word now with Courtney Kirkland. 
Throws it off the backboard. Got it. Travel. He traveled. Had it blocked. And a Coro down the lane. And Rick just got a technical foul. He's right. He better get him. He just got thrown out. He just got thrown out. That might get these guys fired up. But there's no question that he traveled. No doubt. So the sellout crowd makes the noise, and Rick Carlisle will head back to the Pacers locker room. I, I don't think the coaching staff could get to him fast enough. There's no question. He gets the ball after he, he throws it up. He'll get it. And you can see he ends up on the other side of the rim. Hard to see the travel from there. But then they get a bucket out of it, too. That's what Rick is saying. It was a travel. Seen a lot of this look from the Knicks. Randall, one-on-one -on -one against O'Neal. In traffic. Got it blocked. Boy, incredible defense again. This individual matchup between Royce and Julius and passes it to Royce, who makes a big shot. He's had what amount to a couple of game winners this year. For Brooklyn, whistling a foul against Irving. You're taking away Julius Randle was Royce O'Neal. His wizardry with the basketball is unique, and Tom Thibodeau has just been hit with a technical foul. I think this is the non-call on that last RJ, and I think now they're going to get Randle on a technical wow. foul. So they're both arguing the non-foul call. Angles slowed down, different looks. I mean, I, I sort of like the non-call. What do you think? It's hard, like the yeah. heat. Yeah, the big man assist numbers for Hall of Famers. And Jokic is certainly headed that way. And there's a drive by Moran. Jokic gets it down to Junjar. And he falls as he was trying to spin around and retrieve that pass. Technical foul on Taylor Jenkins. Well, I'll tell you, Christian Brown, though, has really impressed me defensively. He got that block behind him. Here's that block Coach was talking about. And I think that that's the one that Taylor Jenkins wanted a foul on. Mills picks him up in transition. Steve Nash pleading for a call from Josh Tibben after his player was knocked down by Giannis. And off the rebound, and we're going to get a technical foul. Steve Nash was working for that, and now he's incredulous. Chuck Vaughn trying to hold him back. Steve Nash is incensed. And I think he got a second, second technical. His night may be over. When Giannis was bringing the ball up court, Jeff, he had that off arm extended a little bit, and that's when Nash initially got upset. Here it is. Nah, flop. I, I like the okay. no call. Okay. Well, Steve Nash is going to watch the rest of this game from the Brooklyn Nets locker room. I'm surprised they... Gave him the second. Jalen goes strong into the teeth and might be fortunate that he got free throws out of that. Yeah, look at Tatum. I agree with Tatum. Vucevic. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Mark Davis just teed up Joe Mazzulla. And he's got thrown out. Wow. Mark Davis just threw Joe Mazzulla out of the game. All right, so I can unfold what just happened here. Go back to the play. Vucevic showed emotion. Tatum rolls over to the ref and says, I showed emotion, I got a T. Vucevic does and you guys don't do anything. Joe Mazzulla backs his guy. The things that have happened here in the last few minutes, Joe Mazzulla got ejected, and this is uh, among the many reasons that the Celtics were unhappy about it. See the emotion that he shows? Now watch Tatum on the left of your screen. He goes right over, he says, Look what he did. Joe Mazzulla comes out. There's the quick tech by Davis. And then uh, within like seven or eight seconds, he did it again and, gave, and threw Mazzulla out of the game. Just joined us. Wild start. Clarkson inside. Oh. Blocked away. Crowd wanted a foul. The look off. The shot jumps off once, twice, and the rebound good. Like a dangerous play, too. 
Uh, Will Hardy not happy, and he is having a word or two with Carl Lane at the moment and staring down Tony Brothers. How could that not? How could that not be a foul? I mean, he got chopped in half. Yeah, so dangerous. Will Hardy still having a word, protecting his player and team. Confidence. So that's a 41-point quarter with no B.I., no Zion, no Larry Nance. Ooh, that's a moving pick. Coming right back. Yeah, Garuba lined it up, and you can see him move right before Najee got there. Delay game. And a technical on Steven Silas, and now he's gone. See ya. He didn't want to be around. And he's felt like he's got the short end of the whistle to start this game. Right. And a really good and, guy. And he, did, he, just, he just told him, he just told him, that's four bad calls, right? And a lot of times as a coach, when you feel like you've been on the short end of the whistle, this is done to try and light a fire under your own team. And you can see the Houston Rockets right now, young, inexperienced team, they're together. So now you go into the line. Technical free throws coming. And you can see the movement before Najee got there. It'll be Austin Rivers. And they're going to call it Jose for the loose ball foul. And the tactical. See, this is the thing here. You saw terrible. this coming. Right. You saw this coming, though. Yeah. This started a play ago. This started a play ago. And, and right now, what the referee's doing, he's allowing his emotions to make this call. Yeah. This started with Jose two possessions ago. And I don't blame Willie at all. This started with John Goble two plays ago with Jose Alvarado. So you knew that was coming. Yeah. And yeah, Willie's gone. So, so think yeah. about this. This is the blame. calmest, this is the calmest coach in the league. This is the calmest coach in the league, and John Goble just threw him out. Maybe the judge. 